Devolver, one of the most renowned indie game publishers in the world, which had to me and played my game. In this devlog, I talk about how I connected with Devolver, the details of our conversation, the valuable feedback they provided and how it led to game improvements, and what's next for my game. Hey, I'm Darren. I left my job at Ubisoft to create Lueur and the Team Settlers, a miniature survival city builder about bringing light back to the world. You can already wishlist it on Steam. Thank you. So, how did I get in touch with Devolver? I've been talking with various publishers for months now. Typically, they discover my game through my presence on Twitter, Reddit, or directly on Steam during online events. Noticing this growing interest, I decided to take the initiative and contact some of them myself, just to see what might happen. But to do this, I needed a pitch deck. This document is a concise presentation of your game and your plans for it. Fortunately, Devolver shares a tutorial on creating an effective pitch deck right on their contact page. I read it and essentially followed the guidelines to craft my own. You can find the link to this tutorial in the description. I sent out the pitch deck and then... I waited. I didn't have particularly high expectations. It felt a bit like tossing a message in the bottle into the sea. Three weeks later, I received my first rejection from Chucklefish. And at that point, I somewhat resigned myself to not hearing back from anyone and moved on. But just a week later, Devolver got in touch. Specifically, it was Clara from the marketing team who've read my pitch deck and already noticed the game before during the Steam Next Fest. Clara told me that my initial release date was too soon for them. She actually contacted me to establish connections for future projects as she had developed a genuine fondness for Lure. I wasn't particularly fixed on the release date, so we discussed the possibility of launching the game in 2025. Clara presented me with a series of questions. If you were to create your dream game, what would the budget be? And what features would you want to include in the final game? Are you considering simultaneous releases on consoles and or mobile devices. What kind of outsourcing, contracting, or additional staffing would you require? Which game engine are you currently using? How long do you anticipate the average player will spend in Lua to reach completion? I also took the opportunity to ask a few questions to Clara which led to very interesting information about how Devolver works. Let's take a look at some of them. How do you see my game fitting into your portfolio? We're continually exploring new ideas, regardless of genre, but first, it has to be fun. The reason we take our time to review pitches so rigorously is to really understand the game and determine if our strengths are the best fit to help you sell it. So I get back to you on that. We also have to evaluate the logistics, such as staff and resource availability in your proposed timelines. So you get maximum support from us, which means sometimes it's not just about the fit. Have you already collaborated with solo developers before? How did it go? We absolutely love working with small teams and indeed have launched several projects with solo developers. Some examples are Inscription, My Friend Pedro and Bleak Sword and Pepper Grinder is another one coming. What kind of support can I expect throughout the development and publishing process? We essentially aim to do everything needed to support our devs being able to comfortably make their game, which typically includes funding, marketing and production assistance at a minimum. We have loads of capabilities and expertise in many fields that we're excited to leverage in whatever combination makes the most sense for your game. It's a collaborative effort. 
How does your team approach generating visibility and excitement around new releases? We really try to play to each game's individual strength and listen to both our devs and our audience when it comes to marketing the games we publish. We are fairly strategic and have some stellar in-house talent as well as a host of partners for expanded capabilities. This will be a much bigger conversation throughout any partnership. How involved would your team be in the development process? I value creative freedom and would like to know how we can work together to maintain the integrity of my game. You're the game making genius. Our job is to help you get it out the door and into as many players hands as possible when it's ready. We do have insight, experience and passion, however. So feedback is always on the table if you want it. Could you give me a sense of how collaboration between your team and me as a solo developer would work? We endeavor to collaborate on every bit and give you final say, particularly on the big decisions. It's no different than with a team. We want you to have confidence in our partnership. Her responses left a very positive impression. Did any of our answers strongly resonate with you? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. I'm really interested in knowing what you think about them. Following our initial conversation, I sent Devolver a new version of the game for the team to review. Two weeks later, I received their feedback about my game. So let's dive into it and see how I improved my game thanks to them. Day skipping for resources felt tedious. Ah, uh, this is true. Initially, Lure was designed to be played in real time. However, casual and more relaxed players found the timer stressful. So, I introduced a new game mode, which is entirely turn based. This mod has been well received, but it did not feel natural that time is stopped and you have to manually skip days. To resolve this, I decided to take a different approach. Now the game is always in real time, but you can pause and fast forward time. Mechanically, it remains the same, but the player's experience is vastly smoother and even more immersive. The visual style didn't grab. I plan to retain the low-res pixel art style due to my limited drawing skills. Nevertheless, it doesn't mean I can't make it look better. Some of my sprites are clearly placeholders that will need to be updated. I've already overhauled the sprites for the darkness storms, which play a crucial role in the game's atmosphere. The result is quite ominous and I like it. Moreover, I've introduced a weather system, which does not impact gameplay yet, but greatly changes the game's mood and breaks the visual monotony. So, we are at default, we can make it rain. We can make it uh, stormy. I will definitely add new weather types later on. The mini games were fun and there was hope for more. I'm really happy about this feedback because the mini games are definitely a risky design choice in a strategy game and a few testers really hated it hard, but overall it's very appreciated. My plan is to progressively introduce more and more minigames with each level. The moral choices were surprising and cool. I'll be expanding on the events and the choices with each level. I'm currently working on implementing a priority system to add an element of randomness and ensure the players don't encounter the same events too frequently. So what's next? Did Devolver eventually decide to work with me on Lura? Unfortunately, the answer is no. In their own words, we've taken a deeper dive into the build and your dream game notes over this past couple of weeks. 
and there was more back and forth than usual. In the end, we couldn't quite come to a consensus to move forward to next steps at this time. However, Lyra resonated with quite a few of us, particularly the tabletop gamers, which is a much better sign than most projects that make it to this step. So, it's disappointing that things didn't work out and I would have been thrilled to collaborate with them. However, I'm immensely grateful for the opportunity and I take pride in the fact that my small solo project captured the attention of such a renowned publisher. Their feedback has been invaluable in enhancing the game and perhaps, who knows, they might have a change of heart in the future. As for my plans, I'm still considering the option of self-publishing the game, but I'm also in discussions with some very promising publishers, which keeps all possibilities open. As mentioned earlier, I've created a special version of the game for Devolver with a new mechanic to improve replayability. I'll talk about it in this devlog, so be sure to check it out. If you'd like to see more videos like this and support the channel, consider subscribing. See you everyone.